Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, UCS Productions or Adam here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of my first ever purchase from Clone Army Customs directly, and I'm very very excited to see how they've all turned out. I ordered some pretty cool stuff, and these things are also going to be put into the mock as well, some of them anyway. As always, if you enjoyed the video guys, be sure to hit that like button, head over to the channel and see if it's worth subscribing, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So this is going to be a relatively short video I think guys because I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff from Clone Army Customs. Now I had actually already uh, just unboxed this previously just to double check that everything was there. And luckily everything was there, I was actually, I was actually really happy with all of this because it actually arrived about two to three weeks early and I only paid for standard shipping as well and the reason I bought from Clone Army Customs was mainly because first of all they didn't actually have any of the items that I wanted for sale on UK stores such as Firestar Toys etc. Uh, apart from the Commando jetpacks which they did actually have in, uh, in stock but they only had about four or five of them and I really needed nine of them. Well, I actually wanted eight and the Commander Cody one specifically for him, but unfortunately I couldn't get Commander Cody's specific jetpack. What we have here is three helmets and nine Commando jetpacks. And the reason for that is the first one on the left, actually the first two I pretty much just bought to make up the order, but I also just thought they were really, really cool and I've seen the uh, the fact that they were making the new style helmet because I'm not a big fan of the old CAC helmet but this is the CAC version of the realistic helmet and it is honestly fantastic I'm really really happy with it I think it looks so so close to the Lego one I would almost go as far as to say as it looks a bit better in some respects and I like the fact that it has the open holes like the old P1 helmets because obviously that allows you to add antennas and things like that and you can actually add the visors in the in the uh, the rail pieces there anyway so the reason I got this one because I could have got any helmet to make the price up I wanted to have a look at maybe making a Battlefront 2 mock in the future or something of that sort and I know that the heavy trooper was one of the people that you could select in the newer style Clone Wars Battlefront 2 game and I think that this is a fantastic job although someone did suggest to me that I could actually use the Phase 2 clone gunner his torso and use this which could be quite cool because it has that special chest plate but anyway the the main thing is that I just wanted to get one of these helmets to see what they would look like in person and I'm genuinely really happy with it and I would definitely go back and buy probably four or five more if I can because I recently got a bunch of the phase two troopers so all I would actually have to do is swap over the helmets and I'll just give you guys a quick close up to show you how spot on it really is and this was four dollars bear in mind a perfectly printed helmet I mean even Lego sometimes misprint I mean I don't know if I was lucky but the print on this is near as damn it perfect so that is the first helmet and I know this isn't the right trooper but I just want to give you guys uh, well, an easy way for me to hold it and show you guys that the helmet for the the uh, clone trooper pilot is actually also in the correct proportion and fits on there like a glove so it's really well done I don't know if Lego actually made the clone trooper pilot with the correct kind of head molding in Lego I know that they did it for the 501st trooper but I don't believe they ever did it for a normal pilot so I thought this was a really cool helmet to pick up from CAC, especially as you can see the detail on this again is just phenomenal really. I mean they've done it, they've just completely knocked it out of the park and I will definitely be going back and getting another, maybe either one or three of those. So I'll actually put these in the back here. Now the last helmet that I want to show you guys is the most important and the main reason why I actually went to CAC in the first place. So for my Bad Batch mock, I need a Phase 2 Commander Cody. And 
the phase two commander cody i got is actually a mini fig customs print it's a full wraparound print the body is fantastic but it, the, what they do is they print the bodies and the, they get the head studs and the helmets from cac and I got this with the old style CAC helmet, which I didn't want, but they were selling this for $4.50, including the visor, and I thought there's no point in me just getting the whole figure, because I already have a fantastic body and head stud. So I just got the helmet, and it looks perfect. I mean, I've actually shopped around because I wanted to have a look at the different styles of printed helmets that you could get these days, and I actually do think CAC's one is the best. So I, I know a couple of providers that do sell helmets. At the moment, CAC was the only place I could get this. And I'm really happy with my purchase. The quality of it is fantastic. It fits. One of my biggest things that I hate about um, custom helmets is when they don't fit just like a Lego helmet. And this is perfect. I mean, I can twist it the whole way around and I can pull it off and on just like a Lego helmet. That's a really big thing to me just because I'm a bit OCD. So I'll leave them over there. And last but not least, we have the Commando jetpacks. And you're probably asking me, why did you buy nine of them? Well, basically, again, for my mock, I want to have a elite squad or two elite squads of Anaxis, 91st Anaxis troopers, going through a tunnel down the right-hand side of the mock. And I just thought it would look really, really cool if as an extra like custom thing to just make them that bit more elite that I could give them all a commando jet pack I just thought I just thought it would uh, be a nice little accessory and I might give them something else but I'd like them to have custom blasters and commando jet packs you know as if they're on like a special special mission so that's pretty much why I got um, eight of them because I want to have eight and then I got the ninth one for commander Cody possibly or just uh, to have a spare one because the amount of products I bought basically made it, I think, so I got about a dollar shipping for each item, technically. So I think in all, guys, I would say a solid 9 out of 10 for Clone Army Customs. As a, as a UK purchaser and a first-time experience, highly rate them, highly recommend them. I've not had any problems. The customer service was fine and the the product's fantastic so i'm gonna head on over to the outro thank you very much for watching the video guys if you did make it to the end if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it and tell me in the section down below what your thoughts are also head over to the channel and see if it's worth subscribing it would really mean a lot to me and as always guys i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you very soon in the next one